So welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Monday. It is day three of the soul cleanse. Totally understand that people can't necessarily join live today. Uh, if you're at work or childcare or school pickups, deliveries, whatever, that's fine. That's why the recording is there. So it's no uh, issue. But it's day three. This is a three day sort of uh, intensive. Um, for us all. And it goes fast. Uh, three days goes fast. And at the same time, it's a nice duration because it doesn't um, a burden um, really anyone in uh, in the three days. Ah, so let us just start by doing some reflection on what, and this is just for yourself to reflect and you can jot down some of your thoughts on your journal, on your piece of paper, in your notebook, whatever you have. You know, what has taken place? or what has not taken place that you may have desired that would have would have been nice that you would have liked because part of clearing and cleansing the soul is to become aware of our expectations and you will go even deeper if you examine the expectations as human beings, we have expectations of ourselves. We have expectations of other people. And the clearer we become of these expectations, the easier life is, the more peaceful our heart and our mind can be. When we are clearer vessels, um, without expectation and when you work on releasing an expectation it's it's a little it can be a little bit like dandelion roots that it comes in bits and pieces and it may take a few goes at clearing an expectation about something um especially to do with family members because there's some of the core relationships we have and when we clear an expectation or reduce the level of expectation when we've had first time experience that we can actually experience more joy and happiness and freedom then we get the real experience why it is more fruitful to release, to work on clearing our expectations than it is to have our expectations. It's, it's a very significant aspect of human life and some people have more expectations than others some people it's part of their makeup who they are and how they are who they are in this world so there's no judgment there's no criticism from my part at least why i talk about this I talk about this because A, it's coming up in the flow today. I didn't plan to talk about this, but it's coming through in the flow. And um, what I just said, I have great experience in because I started to work on my expectations long, long time ago. And it was not easy. 
but it gave me great rewards, emotional and mental rewards of freedom and expansion. So that's a little bit of an expansion of the examination of what has taken place or what may not have taken place for you in these last two days. So continue to assess and jot down where you are at on this day three. And because these three days is really rather short time, it can also serve as a stepping stone for something longer, for something larger for you. Maybe it has given you an insight, an opening to something that you want to work towards, but you have through the workbook, you have some tools through these sessions um, you have learned some meditation techniques, some because there are so many ways to meditate and so many different meditation techniques you can utilize. And you can utilize the practices we have done here um, to assist you further. Um, nothing is too complex of what I've covered that you can learn and you can practice by yourself also. Good, so let us bring our reflection to completion and let us gently close our eyes. And bring your awareness to your breath, first of all. This time we start with our breath. So inhale and exhale. Listening to the sound of your breath. The sound of your breath can be like the sounds of the ocean waves. And allow yourself now to journey inwards. Inwards. Into your body, into the connection with your body. And starting with your head, starting with your face. And feel what does your face feel like? What does your skin feel like? Does it feel moist? Does it feel dry? Does it feel that it's tight or pulling anywhere? Can you relax your forehead? Can you relax your eyes? Can you relax your cheeks? Can you relax your jaw? Can you allow your tongue to sort of drop towards the back of your throat so your tongue is more relaxed? You can lick your lips and swallow if that helps. Move your head sort of backwards and frontwards to release your neck and to release your jaw. 
You can move your head side to side. Release the back and the sides of your neck. <clears throat> you can look over, with your eyes closed, you can look over each shoulder. Release the neck in another way. Roll your shoulders one at a time or both at the same time. Deep breath in all the way to the top of your lungs. And exhale now down all the way to the pit of your belly. And expand your wings, expand the back of your shoulder blades. And inhale as you do that. So you're really forcing the inhalation to the back of your lungs. Not the top, but to the back of your lungs. Then bring your awareness to your heart. Feel your heart. You connect consciously with your heart. And just ask, how is your heart today and or in this moment? Because this moment may be different from earlier today. Becoming increasingly aware on an ongoing basis how your heart is, is very, very beneficial. If you're feeling pain in your heart, like heartache and your pain, it doesn't mean you act on that. But it increases your connection with your heart. So your awareness of what is causing you pain or suffering. And it then gives you an opportunity for informed decision or choice. How to speak, what to say, how to act. Then it is easier to think, to act, and to speak with compassion. Compassion for yourself as well as for others. That is the highest compassion when both parties are included, not at your expense, but it's not also an assertion and pushing away of others so that you feel good about yourself. What is the compassion of choice for both within you, for you, and with and for others? This is the awareness, the expansion to cultivate in your heart. For all of us, for all humanity. Breathe in and exhale, bring your awareness lower down into your belly. Consciously relax your belly. 
Allow your belly to relax. And observe whether there are any knots, so to say, or any tightness anywhere in your belly. Bringing your awareness to your back. Allowing your back to relax and to expand. And bring your awareness to your lower back. And connect and ask yourself, what is my lower back like? And without judgment, notice what it's like. There's no good or bad back. There just is. What is your lower back like? because it's one of your feedback mechanisms. What is happening overall in your being, in your vibrational field? What is happening in your back? And you breathe into your lower back area, allowing it to expand. Giving yourself the message to allow the cavities to expand or the muscles to relax. all the soft tissue, all the ligaments, all the nerves, all the fascia, allow you to relax. It's very important. Becoming aware of your thighs. And now wiggle your toes, move your toes, and lift your heels up and down to give your ankles some movement so that it can also Bring your awareness down to increase your connection with your ankles, with your feet, with your toes. As well as allowing the lower parts of your body to relax. And next breath, breathe all the way down to the soles of your feet. And now create a connection with Mother Earth. All the way down to the core of Mother Earth. From the soles of your feet. Resting in the connection with Mother Earth, knowing you are part of her, you are not separate from her, you are of her. She is your mother here.
Allow yourself to feel her nourishment, her energy, and allow yourself to receive that. And continues to fill you up, to nourish you. Now bring your awareness to an area of challenge. It could be the same that you have focused on the last two days, or it could be different. Choose one area you wish to focus on today. Now consider that area and ask yourself, where does it manifest? Primarily in your body. Now connect with that more directly, more fully, and more consciously. And really take a good look at what does it look like? What is the shape you see? Is it a clear shape or is it fuzzy, misty, murky, more undefined? Take a deeper look. What color do you see? What is the size of it? What are the different dimensions? Be as specific as you can. Is the texture like? Is it soft, hard, bouncy, gooey, fluid? Just take another look. Now measure it again. On a scale of one to ten, 
same way as before, one being the lowest number, 10 being the highest number. Now express your gratitude. In your own words, you can say thank you for your service. Now please transform into love and light with me. Once again, visualize golden light filling that area of your body. Brilliant, shining, shimmering light. And it's coming in from every direction, 360 degrees. Now receive the healing, a light blessing for this area, for this request, however it is appropriate for your highest good at this time. Open your heart and soul to receive this healing blessing.
It is so important for allowing yourself to embrace these qualities about yourself for yourself toward yourself. The collective conditioning can be so harsh, critical, and judging. But ask yourself, is this going to bear fruit in a positive way for you? What will allow you to open your heart more? What will bring you more joy? What will bring you more happiness? What will create more freedom? Because when you choose what creates more joy, happiness and freedom in your heart, in your mind, in your life, will automatically expand to others not only through and by your vibrational field and frequency, but through your perspective, through your view, through your approach. Therefore, inherently by this approach, you are creating more of these qualities and more of these frequencies for all humankind and for all on Mother Earth. So when you are faced with a challenge that you don't know what to do, Ask yourself these questions. What will create more joy? What will create more happiness? What will create more freedom for all concerned? May these be your guiding principles May these be your guiding lights. You are so loved. You are most blessed. Oh. Take a deep breath in. Allow your body to move with the breath. Exhale. 
And do so two more times and allow your body to start to move. Stretch your arms above your head. Roll your shoulders. Make a circle with your hands. Bring yourself fully back into this space and time, into this body, into this room. You can take some time with your pen and paper and just jot down some notes. What did happen? What did you experience? And bring that to completion. So this is the end of our three days. I will pop down the recording into the group and the recordings of the three days will be available to you for one full week from today. And you will have, um, I will also pop down the link where you can book the uh, chat with me, the consultation time. It's a brief uh, consultation. And uh, I will ask you in that consultation, what did you fill in uh, in your pre-assessment? Um, and you will have the opportunity to book the time with me either this week or next week. So it's not a rush, but you will have this week or next week uh, to find a time um, to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, should you wish to have that. It's not mandatory, obviously. It's completely by choice, but it is available to you to discuss uh, something that is challenging uh, for you. So I will pop that link in the chat as well. Please do share your experiences um, and share what has taken place for you during these three days um, in the group because the sharing is what we can gain uh, from, everyone can gain from, from your sharing. So day three is not yet over. Um, so allow yourself to continue to journey and choose, choose something else in addition to this meditation that you focus on today for day three. Much, much love. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day.